question here. What if uh, Gashagwa resigns? Can it be also another card to escalate issues and make Ruto step down? And then who benefits when Kashagwa steps down, forcing Ruto to resign? Those people have read the 2010 constitution. Um, what does the law say about when there's no president or the president resigns? Who takes over? Now, if the pres if the deputy has also resigned, where are we, or where does that leave us as a country? It's like we are. We are boring ourselves in a hole deeper and deeper each day. And maybe it's going to be very difficult to come out of it. That's why we have been calling on Kenyan youths. You have done as proud, you have done as enough. Where it is, let us keep vigilant to those who want to destroy our country. And uh, let us also keep vigilance and make sure that those who are in power are held responsible and are unaccountable. That's the message. Coups have never held a country. Revolutions eat its own people and it's going to eat us if we still push for this thing. Thank you.